and one. So we got yet another cup athlete here for cup 23. Can you introduce yourself, where you're from, what team you're on, what position you're playing? Can you remember all that? Yes. Okay, okay. All right. Um, my name is Kayla Whitley and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am on Team Impact and I will be playing third base. And who's your coach? Uh Dave and Brooke Meyer. So you already know a little bit about Dave. I told you about him, right? He's really, yes. really funny. Yep. So if he if he ever is serious for any length of time, just let me know because I don't think that happens. <laughs> okay. Something's <laughs> wrong if he's serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> tell me who are you traveling with um both my parents are going my mom and dad i'm an only child so it's just the three of us so we are all going so are you spoiled yeah okay at least you admit it but you're not a brat, I, right? i get all the attention yeah there's no one else to give it to you right right so well, our they, dog are they our, fun? are they fun yeah. people? your parents fun oh yes oh yes yes which, which one is the funniest one? Oh. It depends on the day. So they actually both have a sense of humor? Yeah. Well, yeah. I know your dad does because he's not a real Ohio State Buckeye fan. So I know he's got a bit of a sense of humor. But your <laughs> yes. mom is totally okay. So we we know that's okay. So yes. they both have a sense of humor. And and can they make you laugh? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can you make them laugh? Yes. What is the funniest thing you've ever done in softball? Funniest thing I've done in softball. Well, I remember one time I um I've been nicknamed the ball magnet because I get hit so many times. Huh? And um this one pitcher hit me three times each at bat. And the umpire turned around and said, if this girl gets hit one more time, she gets a home run no matter the situation. <laughs> um so I thought that was pretty funny. And and did you get hit? No, I did not. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> You should have, I did not. you should have stepped in front of it, I think, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. So what's your club team? What summer ball team do you play on? Um, I play I play for Diamond Elite. Ah, good, good, good. That's a good brand. Yep. They're out of like Lakota. Yeah. Around and there. Lakota's yep. always got good ball. They're high schools anyhow. So yep. have you ever flown before? Yes, I flew. I've flown once to Disney World. My um, My parents actually surprised me. When I was um, a little bit, a little bit younger, um, so to they put a trip you on a to plane, Disney. Put, did they put you on a plane? Did they go with you with you on the plane, or did they yes, just put you on yes. a plane? No, they went with me. Okay, they went with you. So you were yes. on a plane. You didn't know where you were going. So we um, we were in the car, and because when I was younger, we would go and watch like the airplanes fly over because I thought that was just you know cool, cool yeah. and. Um, and so we were there and, you know, just normal morning like we did. And they're like, you want to get on a plane? I was like, sure. When? And they're like, right now. I was like, oh. And so they ended up giving me the, um, you know, the like Mi uh, Mickey magic bracelets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They surprised me with those and um, said, we're going on a plane right now to Disney. So right that that moment you left. Yep. So for those five, six days and five nights, you wore the same clothes the entire time. Well, no, they already packed. Ah, I got you, got you. I'm like, <laughs> they already packed. I didn't, I didn't know that, but they already packed all my clothes. I was wondering, you would probably stunk by the like day number. Two, <laughs> you know? Yes, I probably would have. Yeah, that would not have been good. Maybe I was hoping that they were thorough thinkers. I guess they were, right? So, <laughs> yes, they were. So when you found out you were going to the cup, what did you think? Um, I, I guess I just didn't, like, I knew it was real, but it, it hasn't like clicked in. It didn't click in. I was just so shocked. Like, um, I actually started crying. I was so happy. Um, and like, I just, I couldn't believe it. Like Paris was one of my dream vacations. Oh, wow. And, um, so the opportunity to go there and do what I love and play the sport that I love. Um, it really? just, I was so shocked. Yeah, so there's lots of emotions that you could have had. You could have had gas, you know, that could have happened, but you yep. cried, and that's another emotion that you could have had. I think one of those two you could have had, right? Yep. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> no, I because was- Because I know you have a good sense of humor. 
<laughs> yeah, I was I was just so shocked. I mean, yeah, so good. So tell me, has uh, has Dave reached out to you yet? Uh, I've reached out. Um, yeah, he's reached out to like our team, like to get to know your team and stuff. And I've like responded in those emails. Okay, super good. So he's got he's gotten back to you. Good, yeah. good, good. So he's he's done his job so far. So <laughs> yes. Now, yes. um. You're on impact. What are you, we're going to get, be in two countries, actually three, because we're driving through Belgium, but yeah. we're going to be actually in two countries for the most part. What is the thing in the Netherlands that you most want to do, see, or eat? Is there anything that kind of stands out? Yeah. So, I mean, in Paris, I really want to see the Eiffel Tower. That's in the, um, on the French side. Yep. So we'll talk right. about this first. Okay. What else in France since we're there? Um, I really want to try the macaroons. Yeah. And baguettes are yep. the two things I'm really looking forward to eating. So I'm going to add a couple more to that. You're going to love crepes, by the way, there too. So that's, oh, yes, yes. The yes, moment yes, that yes. we arrive, everyone goes and gets a crepe. So that will be probably first on your list because that's what we do. Yeah. The next morning is baguette time and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I've never had bread quite this good and it's crazy good. So yeah, which is good. Okay, let's move on to the Dutch side. We're going okay. to get the Netherlands first. What what is interesting there for you? Um, I everything. I mean, I don't have like a specific thing that I really want to go see except the Eiffel Tower, but that's over there. Um, but just I, just everything, the beautiful sights that are there. Like, yeah, I don't. You're, you're gonna find more. I think the Netherlands is the, like a hidden gem. Not too many people know certain areas. They know Rome and they know, you know, something in Switzerland and they know Paris, of course. But in the Netherlands, it's kind of like not thought of so much. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you're going to see some things that like, whoa, I had no idea that there's so much water. We're 18 feet below the uh, below the Atlantic Ocean is where we are. Wow. How long can you hold your breath? Oh, uh, not that long. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. But we are literally where our hotel sits. We're 18 feet below the Atlantic Ocean. That's crazy. That means there's water everywhere and they manage it, right. which is kind of crazy good, but uh, kind right. of an interesting uh, statistics there. But yeah. anyhow, Little canals and stuff. I want to see those too. Everywhere. They're everywhere. It just yeah. as we go crossroads everywhere, the canals <laughs> the same way. So it's kind of interesting. So right. We are, I think, 67 days away from leaving. Wow. That's, That's crazy. Trip. And a Thanksgiving coming up really fast, and then Christmas right. fast, and then right around the corner, we got this going on. So That's crazy. Anyhow, girl, I'm going to let you go for the night, but thanks so much. Uh, tell your mom and dad we're excited to have them, and tell your dad I'm going to bring some Buckeye gear for him. So, <laughs> Okay, I will tell him that. All right, well, tell, and tell your mom we, uh, we're going to film her on the way, so just so we can try to make some money as we're doing it. So <laughs> okay. Let her know. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to push this over to you when I get when I get it built and we're done. Okay. Thank you, Caleb. Yes, thank you. Right. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.